Recently, I received a packet from Reax in which I got a RYS 352A GPS module. Along with this module, I also got a USB to UART converter module. As you might notice guys, these days I am making a lot of car videos. So I thought why not to make a GPS speedometer using this GPS module to measure the speed of my RC cars. So Namaskar Mitro, today in this video I am going to show you how I built this GPS speedometer and I will also show you the testing at the end of this video. So this is the RYS 352A GPS module and these are the basic specifications of this module. Before connecting it to any microcontroller, let's first connect it to the PC and see if it works. So first I connect it to the USB to UART converter as shown in the image. Then I connect the module to my laptop. After downloading and installing their visual GPS viewer software, I opened it. Then I selected the port and board read and clicked OK. The GPS module takes around 10 to 15 seconds to connect with the satellite. As soon as the green LED started blinking, the software started showing the GPS data. Alright guys, the GPS is working fine. Now let's build the GPS speedometer. To build the GPS speedometer, we need these components. I want to make the GPS as small as possible, so these three components can be replaced by this single module. The DF robot Beetle ESP32C3. Now let's fix all the components on the breadboard and connect them using jumper wires. As I have no prior experience working with GPS, so I decided to search for the code on the internet and I found a code on GitHub. But it was originally written for ESP32. Therefore, I made some modifications to the code to ensure compatibility with ESP32C3 and upload it to the board. After some unsuccessful attempts, the code worked fine. As I already told you guys, I want to make this project as small as possible. For that reason, I'm going to use JLC PCB for this project. So first of all, I created the circuit in EasyEDA, converted it into PCB and generated its curve file. After that, I log on to jlcpcb.com to order PCB. JLC PCB is a worldwide leading manufacturer of printed circuit boards offering 1 to 8 layer PCB from $2 and they also offer PCB assembly, SMT stencil, 3D printing service and many more. Their user-friendly interface makes the ordering process beginner-friendly. To order the PCBs, upload your global file on JLC PCBs website, select PCB settings and order high-quality PCBs at very affordable price. I received the delivery of the PCB within a week and the quality was excellent as usual. I opted for the white color marks for this PCB since the speedometer cabinet will be black. I have been using their services for a long time and I am always impressed with the quality of their service. If you want to make your project look professional, I highly recommend ordering your PCB from jlcpcb.com. The link is available in the description. Alright guys, the PCB assembly has been finished. Now let's 3D print the enclosure that I designed in Fusion 360. The 3D prints turned out great. I also created a drawing to cut the clear acrylic sheet. Now let's paste the paper on the acrylic sheet and cut it with the hand saw.
After turning on the GPS speedometer, it takes around 10 seconds to show the GPS data and this thing is indicated by a green LED in the GPS module. This speedometer displays the number of satellites, distance, altitude and speed. You can reset the maximum speed and altitude by long pressing the menu button. I tested this GPS speedometer in my car and used the car speedometer for reference. It shows the accurate value when the speed is constant, but it has an error of around plus minus 2 to 3 km per hour when the car is accelerating or deaccelerating. I think this is happening because of low refresh rate, but overall I am satisfied with this GPS speedometer and I am going to use it for my upcoming car projects. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to our channel. That is it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.